What's up you tens? Um, in this video I'm going to be going over the evaluation section of your report. Okay, and your evaluation section um, is a quite large quite a large portion um, of your assignment and it is very, very important. Okay, you should have just finished your evidence section um, and in your evidence section um, you have provided the context of the data and the main thing is you actually described um, and explained what the data is actually showing you. You're finding all those uh, trends and patterns um, within this data and explaining exactly what it means. Okay, now we're going to get down into and actually evaluate. Okay, basically the first thing uh, we need to do in the evaluation, I like to think of it as split up into three sections. Um, just a, a, an easy way to sort of make it easier on your brain here is there is the section where we are looking at the limitations of the evidence. Okay, the limitations of the data. Okay, what's it not actually showing us and, and breaking down the, the reliability of it. Um, there's the section here where we um, are linking the evidence and the research question back to the claim, linking it all together, like it's the justification and all the links, okay, to um, provide, uh, to, to essentially provide an answer is what we're really looking for here in this middle section. And the last part of evaluation is when we are um, stating well what's missing and, and what further information do we then what might we need to get a, a better answer okay um, and that is our that is our evaluation okay so we'll start here on um, the the first main part of the evaluation which is okay the evaluating the limitations of the evidence okay this essentially means you, we are going to look at the reliability and validity of the evidence what we mean by that, okay, is um, how how well um, was this evidence um, actually created, okay? What are there any issues with it? And let's let's break that down, okay? So I've I've given you some dot points here. Now you don't have to comment on every single one of these, okay? Um, some that some of these might not be um, these dot points here might not be applicable to your evidence, okay? But that some of them some of them might and you're just going to talk about um, as many of these that, that you can be linked to your evidence that you can find information on but essentially you look at your evidence and you state um, is there more than one source that suggests or supports this okay in in your research when you are when you are looking through and you're going through Google Scholar and you're going through and doing your your research to find this evidence is there more than one source that suggests or supports what yours is saying Okay, were there multiple different sources out there that you found that that talked about um, the same thing as you and had the had similar tables showing the same thing, or was the only one that you found is the one that you're using? Okay, that's important to state. Okay, because if there's more than one source and more than one report stating it, it's probably going to be quite reliable. Okay, um, because more than one people have 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 done that you know study to, to find the same thing okay if it's the only source there then we don't know um, exactly um, the right reliability of it because that that single you know that if it's a single study there could be errors to that single study so who's to say that that you know it's it's exactly 100% um, true okay if you look at the high-level example here it mentions that okay um, was it said uh, there wasn't couldn't be seen any clear errors to this um, evidence, although it was the only source of information. Um, there, it was the only um, it was the only source that, that that showed these things. Okay, the only only one source of evidence, um, and it says so. It it's essentially says here, you know. This is the only study that we found that talks about this. Consequently, only one source of evidence limits the reliability of this information. So it, it clearly states that. It says, well, it says because this is the the only um, piece of, of source of evidence that that states what I'm talking about here. Okay, it clearly, um, consequently, only one source of evidence limits the reliability of this information. Okay, because if there's more than one, then there's probably a high chance that you know nothing went wrong and and if we got similar data then that's probably true okay but if there's only one that limits it you know what are the what were the population sizes of the study and how might this affect the data 
okay if we have really small population sizes it can warp you know the results that you get okay um if you the larger the population size generally um the the more refined data you're going to get and it says it here in the high level example also it says also the sample size which is n usually if you see the word n there in your tables is mostly going to be sample size um was not indicative of the entire population Okay, so it goes down to break it down, what the population is, and thus if it's not an entire population or group, then we therefore we can't really be used to make significant significant conclusions. Okay, so it's stating it very clearly there. Okay, if we're not using the entire population, then we, we can't really make that significant conclusion. Okay, there could be some um, uh, um, limits to the reliability of this data, which it mentions right there. Okay. Um, are there any limitations to the studies themselves? Okay, what um, uh, was the evidence collected using uh, scientific techniques of fair testing, repetition, and, and correct variables? So when you looked at the um, the study that found this evidence, was it was it correct? Like, did they was there fair testing? Was there correct repetition? Was the variables kept the same? Um, what were the were the independent and controlled um, and dependent variables correct? You know, were was it was it used using fair testing, or do you think there was something wrong there that was potentially um, creating a um, skewed data in any way? So, are there limitations to the actual testing of those studies itself? Okay, was there anything wrong that you could see there? Okay, um, any non-investigated or silenced relevant information within the ports? Okay, um, so uh, what do we mean by that is, um, is there anything in the data that should be there that has been, you know, strategically left out for any reason to make the reader um, see it in a specific way? Okay, sometimes um, that links to this section here, what is is there a purpose or motive behind the testing because an example for that might be you know um, completely off topic of what you guys are looking at but um, let's say if um, uh, coca-cola is doing a um, study for how well um, coca-cola actually has an impact um, the, the impact of coca-cola on you know uh, the health of um, of, of children okay then if they're funding that study if 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 they're per, if they're if that's the if the purpose of them doing that study is obviously to try to create to find a positive link on on children's health okay then they're going to be funding that they're going to they might leave certain certain things out of that study there might be some silenced information there that then that that on purposely not including okay to make the reader uh see that a certain way Okay, um, they they might go out and be as only show the correlation between Coca-Cola and giving energy, which it might actually do because it's full of sugar. But they're not, all, but they just forgetting or failing to um, silencing the information there. They also probably found about the links towards you know diabetes or sugar intake, and they're just going to not include that. Okay, so is there a purpose behind a purpose or a motive behind that testing? Okay, um, and was there anything that silenced from those reports? Okay, so you know maybe like is there um, uh, is the is the motive for for finding this evidence you know damning in some way? Okay, are they trying to are they trying to make the evidence look positive or negative in any reason? Okay, um, or ideally is it you know, subjective. Um, so, identify other possible interpretations of the data or reasons uh, for the outcome. Okay, so look at the data and is there anything else you can see in that data which might be a reason uh, for how it occurred? Okay, is there um, other possible, um, possible reasons for this outcome that isn't what we are testing? Okay, essentially meaning is there another variable there that, that could have affected it in some way? In, in a lot of the case, a lot of situations there there are, okay. Um, how do these limitations? And the last thing you do is how do these limitations affect your ability to evaluate the claim? So you're looking at all of these limitations, okay. Find which ones that affect you, okay. Like I said, all, all these dot points might not be able to be found there and talked about within your piece of evidence. But they all might, okay. Find the ones that relate. Uh, look look at these dot points and evaluate your evidence, and then state how do these limitations affect your ability to evaluate what you're actually looking at, 
Okay, and that's the first main bit of the evaluation. The second bit, and the, the, the bit here that you're going to talk about is essentially you're answering your research question. Okay, answer the question by stating the findings and evidence. So you go back up and you use this section here of your evidence. Okay, where you described what your evidence was actually saying. Okay, you, you looked at your trends. Okay, you looked at what's actually, what you're actually talking about. Okay, um, and you use this information here when you break, when you broke down that, that evidence into exactly what it's saying, and then you answer your research question. Okay, um, you know, the, 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 if the research essentially saying, you know, is the, is, is the research question correct or not? Okay, if you're asking what effect does it, if you, the question says something like, you know, what effect does it have? You're explaining the effect that it has. Okay, you're answering it. Okay, you're using this data to answer your research question. Okay, it's a main, a major part of your assignment. Okay, um, and you know, if you, if the question is what impact does blah 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 have on blah blah blah, then you're telling me what impact it has. Okay, and using that data that you broke down here to do that. Okay, as seen by the data, it can be concluded that blah blah blah. Okay, um, and, and also in this section, you're stating the relationship between the research question and your claim. So you're relating it back because remember, your research question is a specific, is a specific thing. Okay, and your claim's very broad. All right, and you're stating how the specific evidence that you found, this specific evidence, okay, um, your table, your graph, whatever you have, how that specific evidence and research okay, assists in answering the overall claim. So you justify and link it all together. This section here, you're just justifying and linking it all together. Okay, how, how does the evidence that you found assist you in evaluating the entire claim? So the overall claim, whatever one you're doing of like, you know, um, uh, do, do humans have the ability to control evolution more effectively than nature? That's your overall claim, whatever the three that you chose. Okay, how is that specific evidence of research assisting you um, in answering that an overall claim? Okay, you're, you're justifying all those the, the links that you have. Okay, stating how the re that that the relationship between your research question, your specific research question. How is that answering the entire overall claim as a whole? Okay, because it, remember, your your overall claim is a very broad thing, and your research question and your evidence is very specific. Okay, and it should be a specific part of that claim, ideally, if you've done this correctly. So you're essentially linking this part. This 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 part of your evaluation is you're just linking it all together. Okay, and you're saying, well, you know, this research question that we're looking at relates to the claim, the overall claim this way. So therefore, this specific evidence that I found answers my research question, which then in turn answers my overall claim this way. You're creating those links between the, from the very broad all the way down to the very specific. Okay. It's a major part in answering your, you know, your whole assignment there. And the last part of the evaluation is you are identifying what was not learned and missing from your research. Okay, so what that essentially means is um, what studies, experiments, or data would have helped you in assessing your claim. So if you don't have a clear link back to your claim, okay, well you might have a clear link, but if you if you don't have a um, direct and clear answer to your claim, or you don't have a direct and clear answer to your research question, which is completely fine. You don't have to. You don't. You, you can say, look, the, re the research that I found was inconclusive, and we still don't know if this is if this justifies your overall claim or not, or if it justifies your overall research question. You can take that standpoint. And if that's the case, this section here is so you're saying, well, what studies, data, experiments would have helped you to assess the claim to actually get and a justification for it. What are some investigations that could have been carried out to better assess this claim? If there are parts missing in your evidence here, or if you just weren't able to find the right evidence in, in entirely to answer your questions, to answer the claim, well then, what investigations could be carried out that, that aren't out there now that you could find to better assess that claim and link it all together? 
Okay, and they're the three major parts of your evaluation. Hopefully this helps.